CS183E Edit is the result of trying to practice entrepreneurship without having a downside. Let me repeat that. CS183 Edit, which is hashtag CS183E for edit, has no downside because you're just editing somebody else's defunct crap work where they've already given up on their project. You're trying to edit something that's been given up for dead. An example of something that's been given up for dead is Plancast with their postmortem that they wrote in TechCrunch. So what you're doing is you're exercising promotion and hashtag DTTDS, BHM, do things that don't scale but have momentum, which is from CS183B Lecture 3. Uh, CS183B is in boy, Lecture 3. So inside of entrepreneurship and inside the sequence of uh, computer science classes that teach you entrepreneurship at Stanford is a methodology and best practices technique. And these techniques I've honed in another hashtag, which I've mentioned earlier, CS183E. So when you're doing things that don't scale, DTTDSBHM, you're able to build on a platform of learning and practice while not having any failure because if great founders that are Y Combinator anointed are failing, then if you improve it a little bit, your own brand uh, improves, your own uh, resume improves without having to come up with your own idea that is your passion project that later potentially goes under, which I know Silicon Valley says that they don't uh, have hold failure against you. It's not exactly true as humans. As humans, we want to deal with winners. This is a guaranteed winner, CS183E. And who am I to uh, advocate that you do CS183E? A person who did quite a bit while being on the outside just like you, as a person who maybe isn't currently uh, the best of the best inside of Stanford uh, entrepreneurship, where there's a huge onus and a huge burden if you're taking Engineering 145 to come up with a billion dollar idea, which is how uh, SSE Lab Startex got launched out of, which is how a ton of other companies got their start from. So you feel that pressure and that burden I'm saying remove that pressure, remove that burden, and do something that is along the lines of CS183E as an edit, or hashtag CS183DO, D-O, or uh, promote something that exists. And what you're basically doing is you are relying on five of my mentors who cross the chasm from the right. Let me repeat that, cross the chasm, from the right. I have five mentors for that, and none of these mentors actually call it Cross the Chasm from the Right. Uh, Eric Rees with Lean Startup. Steve Blank with Four Steps to the Epiphany. Jeffrey Moore, of course, who wrote the book Cross the Chasm. Mark McCormack, he wrote What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School. Let me repeat that, What They Don't Teach You at Harvard Business School, in Tom Kosnick's book. So these five books help you cross the chasm from the right. That's an extrapolation of a work that does not yet exist, which is using the things that exist to DJ up energy, DJ disc jockey up uh, APIs. And that's what you're doing to get one guaranteed success under your belt, which is funny because right now I'm wearing elastic. CS183E, I wish you lots of luck with that.